Look at the brave faces these two are displaying. They have both already entered the labyrinth once, only to meet their demise. Uh, and, and it was really painful and hard on them. But now they're back for another go at entering the labyrinth in order to rescue the princess, because they do dare. Uh, got a lot of positive comments about the last video. People were really enjoyed the kind of play-by-play -play I did. A lot of times I kind of lied over a lot of the gameplay, but people really wanted to experience the labyrinth much as our uh, real people have. So we're going to try to keep it to one take if possible. Um, so we're going to start with our rolling to see who goes first. Three for Betty Crocker, one for Pinky. Betty Crocker rolls a three again, and it's pretty much got to go this way. Pinky's turn. She also got a three. She will go this way. Two, three. Does she want to go that way? No, she doesn't. She's going to go this way. She'll be right here. Betty Crocker's turn. Two. She's going to leapfrog over Pinky and go right here. She would love to roll a one right now. Oh, and she did. You go to the endless corridor, Betty Crocker. We saw last time how long one could be in the Endless Corridor. Uh, Pinky gets a two. Just gonna let her go right over there. She might actually go this way. Betty Crocker's turn. He gets out of the, the Endless Corridor. Pinky, four. She liked going down that hallway last time, so she's gonna do that again. Two, three, four. Betty Crocker, three. One, two, three. Pinky. Four, and that's going to net her the first object of the game, which is, um, sorry, I'm trying to read through the, the camera monitor, and that doesn't work very well. She found the princess's ring. All right, Betty Crocker's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Pinky. Four. Betty Crocker. Six. Big six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll go right here. Pinky rolled a one. Betty Crocker's going to roll a different number, and it's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Booyah. That's number 15. Let's see what we get on 15 here. And that is the princess's hairbrush. we go, one to one. This could be the final of the Baralti leg. Two for Pinky right there. Betty Crocker's turn, five. That's a nice number for him right now, I think. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and he's close to that lucky spot we saw so uh, skillfully employed last game. All right, three. One, two, three. Betty Crocker. He comes out with a four, and there we go. Lucky spot. One, two, three, four. What didn't he get last time? Oh, he liked the diary. Now, I think he remembers, what was it that was up here that he already got? Oh, well. Look at the diary. One and two, nothing happens. Three and four, he loses the diary, and I think has to go back to start maybe. Five or six, he gets another object. Four, he loses the diary. And this is, where's the diary? I think it's... And seven. Yeah, he has to go back to start. And he loses the diary. All right. Pinky's turn. Three. One, two, three. That was a boon for Pinky for that to happen. Betty Crocker's turn. He got a big six. Big six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bypasses the zombie. He's back in the game. All right. Back to Betty or back to Pinky. She got a two. She'll take that. Oh no, she'll go to 12. There we go. There we go, Pinky. You found the princess's mirror. If the token is available, you may take it. If someone else has it, you may not take it. Betty Crocker's turn. Three. Close to where he wanted to go, but not quite there. Three. Right next to that 11 square. Pinky, she's doing really well now. Four. She could just run home, land on a lucky spot, maybe chance upon this number nine, and then head on over to the princess, forcing Betty Crocker to face the Minotaur. Betty Crocker's turn. He got a one. Whoa. 
That's huge. Uh, princess's money pouch. Two to two, though Pinky is, is better positioned, I think. Pinky got a two, bringing her closer to those lucky sevens. Betty Crocker, a one. Not quite the role he wanted, but some progress is better than none. Pinky, five. One, two, three, four, five. Overshot the lucky seven. Calm down, Pinky. Don't get so anxious. Slow and steady can win this race. Betty Crocker, your turn. You get a two right there. Pinky, here we go. Four. Ah, oh, overshot again. One, two, three, four. And then we don't know what the eight is. She didn't like the zombie last time. She's going to chance the eight. And we'll see what it is. You fall into a trap door that slides all the way back to start. Oh, no! So their roles are reversed, but at least she didn't have to worry about dying. Uh, that was unfortunate last time. All right, Betty Crocker's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, doesn't want to do that. And he's going to have to just kind of waste the move. One, two, three, four, five. He'll go to the 15, but I think the 15 already got taken, right? Is that the hairbrush? Yeah, hairbrush. Betty Crocker, or no, Pinky. She got a three, back in the game. And she's got two things. Maybe she'll head down this way. One, two, three. See what that 18 is. Betty Crocker, four. That's a good roll. One, two, three, four. Can't be ashamed of a four. All right, Pinky, one, two, three. Bypass both zombies. That was nice for her. Betty Crocker's up. He got a four. And that is great for him. One, two, three, four. So now we see the rolls are reversed. He is going to be able to take one of the things. And I think he's going to take the diary. And he's going to read it again. And this time he gets another item. So he has all four things. He'll take the locket as well. And he's heading to the princess ASAP. Pinky, clock's ticking. Three. So you have to try and find that magic axe. But that's a zombie. Do you chance the zombie or do you backtrack? I think she chances the zombie. One, two, three. Roll against the zombie. Does not want to roll a one. She rolled a six. Boom! She snuck past the zombie. Betty Crocker, your turn. One. Lucky spot. I guess she'll take this bracelet. Why not overdo it? All right. Pinky, she's hitting this 18. Maybe this is where she gets the magic axe. She has to prepare herself. You have found the magic axe. Take the token if it has not already been taken. If another player has it, you may not take it from them. She has the magic axe. She's ready to take on the Minotaur in order to get the Minotaur horns. Though she's not going to go directly there. She's going to make Betty Crocker force her, I think. All right, Betty Crocker's turn. He got a big four. One, two, three, four. It's a race now. Pinky. Well, it's not really a race. He just wants to not die. She got a three. Oh, she has to face the zombie again. One, two, three. The magic axe, unfortunately, does not help against zombies. And she snuck past it again. That's a... She's getting good. Betty Crocker, your turn. Hoping a four would be great right now. No, a five. She, he got a six. So six would take him to the number 17. He's not sure what that does. I don't think he wants to chance it. One, two, three, four, five, six. She already has the magic axe. He doesn't really have to hurry. Uh, Pinky, your turn. She got a two. One, two. She's just kind of trying to kill time. Hopefully he'll kill himself. Betty Crocker's turn. He gets a three. Pinky. A three as well. Huh. Two, three. Betty Crocker. A three. One, two, three. Good roll, good roll. Now he's back in that same situation where on his next turn he's going to want to roll a five. Pinky, your turn. You get a one. That's great. What's on this 16 spot? You find a magical scroll of teleportation. So she rolls again. This isn't really teleportation. It's like a boost arrow or something. One, two, three. What's on the 10 spot? The princess's diary. But he already has it, so she can't get it. All right, Betty Crocker. Let's get that five you want. Two. That's okay. You'll take the two. Go right there. Pinky, your turn. Pinky got a two. She's going to go here because she's curious about this five spot. It's probably just another item that she can't get. But Betty Crocker got, gets a five. 
One of that five earlier, not right now. One, two, three, four, five. That's a zombie. He's not going there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, dancing around that corridor, Betty Crocker. Pinky gets a five. That's going to let her see what's in the five spot. But it puts her in jeopardy later. You have been very sneaky. Choose any token you want. If you're playing two-player, then you can take a token from another player. Oh, so she could, well, if she took the diary, that still wouldn't work. She's going to take, um, so now he does have to hurry because she could keep trying to hit this spot and keep getting sneaky. She'll take um, this bracelet, I suppose. And then it's Betty Crocker's turn. You can't be languishing anymore, Betty Crocker. She's going, she could take your stuff. If she gets a one or two, though, she's going to have to confront those sixes there. She got a three. Perfect. So on her next turn, if she gets another three, she can take another thing, and then she'll be the one in, with the four items. And the magic axe, so Betty Crocker won't even have that. One, two, three, four. Whew. Sorry, the Minotaur pinky one. She'll go back one here. Betty Crocker. Six. Big six. Ooh, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. He cleared that corridor. Now just one more to clear. Pinky, you get a four. Perfect. Uh-oh. It's going to be trouble for Betty Crocker now. He didn't get there fast enough. Betty Crocker, your turn. You got to go back. You have no other hope. Four. One, two, three, four. You get a roll again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pinky. One. Uh-oh. A giant spider has attacked you. Roll the dice. If you roll one, two, three, or four, you have killed it and are safe. If you roll five, it has bitten you, and you must give up a token. If you have no tokens, then you must go back to the start squares. If you roll a six, you're dead. Okay. Here we go. Jeez. All the twists and turns, she killed it. All right, Betty Cracker's turn. Two. Pinky's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. She's got to get going. Betty Crocker, four. Ooh. Zombies or the shoot? I think he'll take the shoot. One, two, three, four. Zoop. Back to start. And he's got to try the pinky strategy now. Pinky's turn. Three. One, two, three. She's back there. Can you see her? Betty Crocker's turn. One. That's not what you want right now, Betty Crocker. Now's the time to start running. Pinky, your turn. You get a four. One, two, three, four. Lucky spot. Not so lucky when there's nothing left to obtain from the bank. All right. Betty Crocker's turn. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good. Pinky's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Dancing nicely, Pinky. Betty Crocker's got a two. One, two, just enough to get past that zombie. He's looking for a one, two, three, four, five, or six on his next turn. Pinky's turn. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the shoot, right? What was eight? Eight might have been something different. No. So we don't know what 17 is. We don't. I think she might go to it because she doesn't want him to take something from her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventeen. Whew. You have made a big mistake. Oh, crap. She has to fight the Minotaur now. And she would have gotten the magic axe if she didn't already have it. Okay, so she's got to fight the Minotaur. And I'm going to stop the camera now because that has some different rules and i got to figure out what those are. All right, here we go. Pinky versus the Minotaur. Minotaur has a hit points. It's called strength, but it's really hit points or very similar to hit points, of 30, and Pinky has 25. She gets five more for having the magic axe, and they just roll and take damage from each other until one of them is dead. Pinky gets to go first. She gets a three, and that puts her, I got to write with my left hand, 20, oh no, he goes down three, sorry, 27. No. No. Yes, Minotaur. Six. Oh, it's not good for Pinky. Nineteen. Pinky. Five. That's pretty good. Twenty-two. 
Minotaur is still up by three. Minotaur's attack. Six! Jeez! Thirteen, I guess it is the Minotaur. All right, Pinky's turn. Roll big, Pinky. Five. Yeah, not yeah enough, but still yeah. Minotaur. Six. Dang. This is, Minotaur's got to get really unlucky or Pinky's doomed. Thirteen. Three. Three. Sorry, Pinky. So, I'm not sure what happens to all her stuff. I need to check that out. And then, because otherwise there's no way Betty Crocker can win either if they just disappear. So they have to go somewhere. So the question is, are they like guarded by the Minotaur now? That would be interesting. Like he has to then defeat the Minotaur in order to get them. Or maybe the sneaky space would let him take them. I don't know. I'm going to go look. All right, so the rules don't really say. So as, as near as I can figure, Betty Crocker has two choices. He can either try to hit the five spot or he can try to hit the 17 spot. If he hits the 17 spot, he has to fight the Minotaur, who has all the possessions, but um, he can get the magic axe first. He saw how well that worked, though. So he's going to go for the five spot and chance the spiders rather than the Minotaur. He got a three. That's not what he wanted. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's also bad. He'll go there. Four. That's what he wants. Okay, so he can take something. He'll take the mirror and then hopefully roll bigger than two. He did one, two, three, four, five, six. Now he's just got to make it to the princess. And the day is his. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky spot. Three. Two, right past the zombie. Cruising nice, cruising nice, but you're approaching the dangerous corridor. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. He doesn't want to fight a zombie. One, two, three, four, five. Three. I bet, I bet this is killing you, like the suspense. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can, I can tell you my heart is racing. It's like he's so close, but I haven't seen anyone be able to negotiate this corridor yet. Well, the full corridor. Four. One, two, three, four. That's the shoot or the zombie. He's got to take the shoot. Back to start. Two. Six, four, four, doesn't take them long to run back, four, one, two, three, four, five, that eight was, the eight's the shoot, yeah, yeah, okay. So he's got to go back this way. One, two, three, four, five. So he's got to take the shoot or the zombie. He'll take the shoot. Four, four. Sorry, Minotaur. Three. Three. see it. One, two, three, four. Eh. Zombies either way. Okay. Don't roll a one. Got a three. So he killed the zombie. Good job. Five. That would be another zombie, wouldn't it? Mm. Gotta go back. Two. Two. 
four. Don't roll a four. Roll a one. Don't roll a three. Roll a three. Yeah. Don't roll a one. Nice. Uh, the shoot, we're back to lucky seven. Take the lucky seven. Three. He really wants to be able to succeed here. He doesn't want to have to play again. This, these are good circumstances for him. One, two, three, four. Nice. Bypass that zombie. Now you really want to get a five. It's a one. You really want to get a six. It's a one. You really want to get a five. Six, no. Uh, back to here. Now, you just want to get back to where you were. All right. Get a six now. Six. Rolled like a minotaur. Six. Now he gets to roll again because that's a scroll of teleportation. Whoa. That was auspicious. One, two, three, four. Now he just has to get past these two spaces and the game is his. One. Two. Oh my gosh. If your heart wasn't racing now, it certainly is now. Or if it wasn't racing before. See, mine's racing so much it's um, putting too much blood in my tongue. Which makes my tongue kind of both wiggle and sink to the bottom of my mouth. But if your heart wasn't racing before, it definitely is now. Ah! I didn't even mean to roll that, but okay. One, two, three. You just got to roll a three or higher. And the game is over. Four. What have you brought me? I brought a mirror, a pouch, a hairbrush, and your diary. Oh, my diary, did you read it? I did, and it said that you were wonderful and that you were a very open person. You don't mind if people read your diary. You're right, I love you. Let's leave the labyrinth forever. Okay, here we go. Woo! Da 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 da, da 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 da. Well, that was that was arduous um, in just what it did to my nerves, but really exciting. Lots of ups and downs, just what you want from a game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Brawlty leg, and I hope you enjoyed Enter the Labyrinth and Rescue the Princess. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, I think it'll be fun to play with some children uh, and adults, of course. All right, well done, both of our competitors. Pinky really killed it in the Brawlty leg. She did really well. She's got kind of bad luck on um, that game. There was a lot of luck there. We're not going to try to dispute that, but there were some choices. I, I wouldn't say she lost because of her choices. Um, because I think she deserves a lot more credit than that, but she still has a chance of coming back in the tournament, as do all of our losing players so far uh, through careers here. So we just got one more game left in these semi-semi-finals, which is going to be Kriegbot, um, and then we're going to move on to the next next phase of the game, which will determine both who the um, English player is and the Pasha Ru player. And the Baralti, are they? Yeah, they're Baralti in both. Okay, that's right. Baralti are in Throne World as well. All right, I'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Ottoman Leg 2 coming up. Kriegbot.